What's up, you two? See Oh, all the luck here. Today, it's time for another Walmart challenge. And this time, you guys, we're doing two more mystery power boxes, but we're going to call these the Mr. Power Box Gold Edition, because not only is it look like they're trying to do some sort of gold here, um, but it does have premium gold, potentially, inside. So I'm uh, pretty excited for that, you guys. And again, we're at the Simple Lucky Game Shop here today, if you guys can check it out. Yugi's here to join us. Um, in our last opening for the Mystery Power Box Holiday Edition, uh, Yugi wasn't here. And I felt like because Yugi's here today, we'll have some Heart of the Cards to help us out with some uh, beautiful cards inside. And speaking of beautiful cards, we have the beautiful um, playing mat here. This is the Dragon Maids. And I feel like because they're so beautiful, we will pull the beautiful cards. All right, you guys. And let's check out the back of these things, though. This is the, uh, so we're gonna call it Mystery Power Box Gold Edition. Um, I'm actually kind of excited for this because it's one out of two. You have the potential to pull the Duelist Saga or potential to pull a premium gold. And um, I'm feeling these out right now. And I feel like if it was Duelist Saga, man, it'd be quite a bit bigger. Um, so potential premium gold or maybe the special editions because I'm guessing you get one or the other. Um, also inside, you get three booster packs. And look, we're looking at Flames of Destruction again, you guys. I mean, this is the time. This is the time to pull uh, some beautiful cards from that set. Also, Battle of Legends, a lot of 20 25 $30 cards inside. And then, of course, the beautiful Legacy Packs or Classic Packs inside. And again, you guys, these Classic Packs, I've talked about it before, these are always going to be valued at least like $6 to $12, even these Worldwide Editions, because you have a chance of pulling some of these beautiful Classic Cards. And, of course, you have the uh, three little... Uh, mystery items inside, which is either an additional booster pack, a graded card, or uh, some sleeves. But you guys, let's get started. I'm feeling it. This is a $50 Walmart challenge. These are $25 a piece. Let's see if we can complete the challenge, you guys. And of course, this, oh, 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 I got some, I got some beautiful big things inside here. Um, let us know in the comments below if we completed the challenge, and that is a Duelist Saga. And I understand it is one out of two chance, but you guys already have to realize dual sagas are like a 15 to $20 uh, mini box. So like we're already getting pretty good value. Um, inside of dual saga, by the way, guys, we have red eyes, darkness, metal dragon and black luster soldier envoy. Um, we got honest Neo, some really cool cards inside along with a lot of good $5 cards. And now we're looking for flames of destruction. Oh, 20 cards plus an ultra super secret or rare. Ouch on the or rare part there. Um, interesting mystery item. Okay. Oh, invasion of chaos. Oh, baby. Chaos invades in this opening. And last but not least, ooh, Battle of Legends, Relentless Revenge. I just talked about it. Search for the Golden Castle. And where's that flood? Ooh, Duel's Pack, you say. What? That's cool. That's nice. Um, didn't expect that. Here we go. Oh, shadows in Valhalla. Anything else in there? No. Gold edition. All right, you guys. Um, I'm actually kind of curious. I feel like we should pop open this one too. I've just, I just want to know what we're getting. So this is a mystery power box, gold edition. Here we go. What's inside guys? Come on, Yugi boy. He's over here watching over us. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna put our hands in there. Ooh. Hey, another Duelist Saga. I like that. I was like, I don't think there's Duelist Saga in here, and I was just completely wrong. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I already got, like, this is, like, actually easily $25 um, each or $50 worth of value here. Um, just, like, I would just say, like, normally, boom, done. We're, we're out of here with 50 bucks. But here we go. Another uh, pack here. And sometimes when you get, you know, mystery boxes that are next to each other, you kind of get the same stuff. But we're gonna get, wait a minute, actually I would enjoy Invasion of Chaos again. Let's see if we can do it. Yes, Invasion of Chaos. Okay, here we go, here we go. Um, can we switch it up with Flood? Oh, another Battle of Legends, you can't complain about that. That's very nice. Um, ooh, ooh, what's this, what's this? yu gi -Oh! Okay, all right, all right. And the last one of Destiny, that's, that's definitely, uh, you said. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So, um, Actually pretty cool though, you guys. I mean, get some Duelist Packs, I don't, I don't mind, because uh, it's a Duelist Pack. So we are gonna start with our little, uh, man, that two Invasion of Chaos, so that's nice. Uh, let's start with our Ultra Rares over here, just because I'm curious, you know, what, what comes in these things? What are we gonna get out of here? Ooh, Stardust the Dragon! That's nice, I actually, I like that a lot. We got some Yusei Packs here, and we got ourselves a Stardust Dragon, okay. Ooh, a little damage here on that Snatch Steel. It looks like they just 
Put those come. No penguin. Ooh, two dark magician girl. Hey, they did, did a decent job of shuffling those, these up with different sets. Super heavy samurais. But man, I Stardust the Dragon out of there. Let's see if we can get this other one here. I don't know if we can get another Stardust, but if we can, that'd be sweet. I'm gonna open it upside down this time. I like how they just get the characters here. I don't know, it's like, I don't know if they can get away so easily with just have using uh, Konami art in the Yu-Gi-Oh logo, but I guess they do, third-party products. Yu-Gi-Oh, Gladiator Beast. Nice, Fernoids, jaw rubber. Oh, okay, ready for intercepting? Alien Hunter. Okay, start us the dragon though. No. We're gonna set that aside right there. And then thanks to our friends at Old Pro, I did bring out the Pro Eclipse today. So we're gonna go ahead and sleeve this up. Okay, a couple mystery items brought us to stir us the dragon. And uh, let's get let's get popping here. Let's check out what's inside. So product-wise, guys, easily, I feel like we got the $50 here. Just saying. Two duelist sagas, like I said, like $15, $20. Let's just say $35. Uh, a couple Battle Legends booster packs. These are easily expensive boxes now, so probably more around $45 just for those two. Five to $10 packs there. We're already past our $50 limit. Now let's see if the packs we open, though, have some of that good stuff inside. This is two Yusei booster packs. All right, here we go. Part of the cards guide us. Um, effect Veiler's in here. I'm trying to remember what else. Variety comes out. I mean, maybe we should use that. That should be a little mystery box we'll use for some of the Simple and Lucky videos or something. Variety comes out. Drill Warrior, Blind Spot Strike, and Stronghold. Um, by the way, this is a Strategy Card 9 Fusionist Expedition, so you can combo your fusion card. Cool. So we're gonna set those aside there. There's actually a dude holding that up, if you guys didn't know. Stronghold Guardian. All right, you guys, next pack here. Um, I believe there's an Ultra Gundam in here. I think that's a good card to go for. So with the Math Max, I know that, you know, older Gundam cards are kind of whatever at this point, but. Oh! <laughs> I get the free synchron. Oh, baby, I, just, I was just talking about it. There's a Gundam right there. What, what's going on? <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, so this is a 36 pack box. So I think it was like two ultras per box at the time. So, I mean, that's a one out of 18 chance to pull our Bree Synchro on those packs or whatever. Actually, it's not even that good. I feel like it's a, oh, a fake failure. What? The two cards we just talked about. That's literally probably the best pack you can get from this set, you guys. That's absolutely insane. What the heck just happened there? Okay, so little little background info. I believe this rare effect failure back in the day was worth around ten dollars. Um, just just you guys gotta remember effect failure, one of the best cards in the game for a very long time, came out of uh, oh, it's another green set, I'm not gonna remember. Duels Revolution? Ah, I'm close. And anyways, it came out in that set as like a $40 like ultra rare card and then like a $60, $70 ultimate rare. So just letting you guys know, maybe around 30 for the ultra, but just this used to be a pretty valuable card. You know, not so much anymore. But first edition, rare, that's pretty nice to see. And with the freaking Synchro we're talking about. The Synchron Gundam card. I told you guys there's a Gundam in here. That is so cool. Okay. So we're actually going to sleep both these cards because that was literally both the cards I wanted from this set. Um, if we're going to get something else, I believe there's a dude that shoots arrows. An archer, some would call. <laughs> Let's see what happens. That's actually pretty freaking cool. Value-wise, I don't know if we're gonna get much value out of here, like I said, because the fact that there's been made common at this point, but uh, it's still really cool to see those cards. Definitely getting some Yusei packs going on here. I like that. I like that. All right, we got Damage Eater, Double Cyclone, Majestic Star Dragon. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. AD Changer and Shield Wing. Strategy card number two, A Justice is Served. Okay. All right, you guys, set that over there. And I'm, I'm missing out on my gold box over here. I just wanna put it right there. You see that gold box? All right, another pack here. All right, um, again, the man with the bow. The bow goddess. Oh, the big warrior. I was gonna say, oh, the other guy on the pack, man. We could get the other guy on the pack, big warrior. And there he is. <laughs> what just happened? That's crazy. Oh, majestic star again. Also, effect fact, there is a short print, if you guys were wondering. Uh, during your main phase, I like a level one monster. Accept this card from your hand to the grave. Special summon this card from your hand. That actually could be decent in this format. So don't forget about Big One Warrior. Those were some very good Yusei packs, guys. That was cool. That was real cool. All right. 
We're doing really good so far. I think bringing, bringing our boy Yugi over here. He's, he's just saying, what's up, YouTube, right now? I see him over there saying it, but I think it's time. Shaz and Valhalla. Sorry, this opening might get a little long. I just realized it's got some more stuff inside here. But we're gonna make it happen. All right, um, Ash Blossom, we're gonna get the other hand trap, right? Got invoked cards inside. Valkyries, beautiful cards. First edition packs. Magma Neos, Glow Moss, Flare Scarab, Hidden Village. We got some ninjas, some ninjas inside as well. All right, we'll do another. Actually, let's go Duel Saga. Let's go Duel Saga, you guys. So this is a Duel Saga Special Edition. I got some, some little sharp objects over here. So uh, Duel Saga Special Edition, and this is a collect memorable cards from the entire history of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise with Duel Saga. Five incarnations of Yu-Gi-Oh! mixed with the manga and animated series. And cards inspired by some of the coolest monsters. So I'm going to pop those open. Let's do this. You guys see the packs there? Look at all the different packs inside. It's literally, I don't know where the spider comes from. If you guys want to post in the comments below, who used the spider? I'm curious. Why is the spider important? Okay, this is Duelist Sog, you guys. Honestly, you know what card we have not pulled for many, many moons now? It is Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. And it is the most valuable card in the set as well. So uh, let's make it happen. Give it to us. Yugi boy. Oh, man. I love seeing, I just love opening a pack where everything's kind of valuable. Gizarra's already a good card, gonna get even better with the fusion stuff coming out. Constellar Ptolemy, M7, another beautiful card. Vision Hero, Vion, Guard Penguin, and Halfway to Forever. Okay, already, that's nice, that's nice, okay. Set those over there. Let's see what else we can get. I don't, I wonder what uh, Ptolemy M7 is worth. Here we go. Sukiyomi, beautiful in that uh, goat format. Mizuki, that's a very beautiful. That's actually holding some value in the set. Uh, dual Taining, Celestial Double Star Shaman. We'll keep an eye on that guy. And Silent Angler, so that's a tuner, non-tuner monster. Interesting. Mizuki though, you guys, I think we're gonna have to sleeve up that Mizuki. I think that might be one of the more valuable Mizuki cards in general, oh baby. It's very nice. That's first edition Duelist Saga. These are first edition Duelist Sagas. That's crazy, guys. All right, time for the Neos pack. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Armatile, the Chaos Phantom. We're getting some godly cards. That is gorgeous. What the heck? Treeborn Frog? Hey, Malevolent Sin, we talked about her. Let us know, you guys. Why is this card on the packs? And we got a Celestial Zero and a, wow, we got the, the big one, the full armored one, and the one without the armor. Okay, cool. I love what Sin, though, as well. That's nice, man. Treeborn Frog, we used to call him back in the card shop days, the Frizzity Frog. He's just always making his way back into the game. All right, you guys, that is cool. That's really cool. Armor Top of Chaos Phantom. Man, I don't know about value right now, but this is some fun pack opening. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do Battle of Relentless Revenge, or Battle, sorry. Relentless Revenge, Battle of Legends. <laughs> here we go. Um, just to talk about a couple cards in here, Cyber Emergency popping off. This card would probably worth a ton forever until Konami reprints it. It's in every Cyber, Cyber Dragon deck. Um, also inside is gonna be Bogo Bugaluska. Um, I forget his name, but he's the three rank guy. He's really good. Negates effects, I believe you can negate hand traps. Um, oh. Metal Foes, uh, very cool. World Legacy Discovery, Convert Contact, and Kaki. Okay, also this is a uh, potential search, search for the uh, Golden Castle. So uh, we're gonna have to save that. Though. Secrets in the front, I'm gonna remember that for the next time we open it, guys. All right, another Shadows in Valhalla. Can we get a hand trap? Can we get something awesome, something beautiful? Give it to us. Here we go. Come on, you guys. Believe in the heart of the cards. It's a big video here. Big video. Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. Neos. Golden Bamboo. Oh, Mischief of the Time Goddess. There we go. I was like, we just need a short print card. And that is a beautiful Hatsune Miku card right there. Mischief of the Time Goddess. Actually holding some value. Some good value right there. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm guessing around that $8 to $12 range. That's very nice. First edition, Mischief of the Time Goddess. Got some bamboo cards in there too. That's always good. 
All right, you guys, go ahead and sleeve up that beautiful lady there. Very nice, look at this opening so far, you guys. Getting pretty, pretty insane. Um, I think it's time to head back into Duelist Saga. Let's see what packs we have this time. Another spider pack. This time we got Yugi's on the pack this time. I like, I like seeing my boy Yugi. We got Yugi, Yugi. Okay, here we go. Um, again, Red Eyes Darkness Metal, Black Luster Soldier, and Boy of the Beginning is in here. We have Invasion of Chaos packs, and we have the possibility of pulling the Black Luster Soldier and Boy of the Beginning. One, two, right there. We're gonna pull, pull them in both, both packs, you guys? Let's do it. All right, we're gonna save our Yugi pack. We're gonna start with the Spider pack. Come on, you guys, believe. Oh, speaking of Black Rose, there we go. Rescue Cat, that's actually holding some value in the set. That's really nice. Double Star Man and the Titanic Moth. Man, another couple good cards. Just wanna like show off all these beautiful cards we're getting, guys. This is great. Rescue Cat, though. Um, people are talking about Rescue Cat again. You guys gotta remember, you can send this card from the grave to special some two level three or lower beast type monsters from your deck, but they have their effects negated. But guess what? Not the tuner part. They can be tuners. Synchro Summon, easy peasy. All right, dual saga. Ooh. Evelsar Alagia, nice. Actually, the Simple Lucky Game Shop, we have some people wanting to play some like Dino Rabbit um, type tournaments. I believe that's 2015 to 18, somewhere in there. Oh, Dark Arm Dragon, beautiful. Double Sharks, White Veil, and another Vion. Wow, another Vion. Dark Arm Dragon, guys, I have to sleep Dark Arm Dragon. I can't, can't not sleep my boy. Man, we're running out of sleeves, Ultra Pro. This is such a great opening. Wow. Okay. All right. I think the Dragon Maids are helping us get some beautiful cards here. Is that what's going on? I think that's what's going on. All right, you guys. This is it. We're going to go to Battle of Legends Relentless Revenge. Can we get something epic? Here we go. It's time to believe. First edition, search for the Golden Castle. I think it's right on the bottom, you guys, so let's, let's open it a little backwards here. Man. Oh, I see what's on the front. <laughs> All right, Top Logic, Gumblar Dragon. That card is definitely banned. Um, this card was not banned in the OCG, you guys, and I believe this is the discard two cards. People were playing this with um, Danger Dark World, and Danger Dark World was actually slowly becoming the best deck in the OCG. So very cool. Wow, nice to get a pretty sweet band card out of there. It's just three packs left for this opening, you guys. It is, Yugi is on all the packs. I think we're gonna start with one Invasion of Chaos and then we're gonna go for the Duelist Saga. Yugi boy, here we go. Three packs left. Okay, here we go. Sacred Crane, can we get at least one foil from these Invasion of Chaos packs? Molten Zombie, DNA Transplant, Fenrir. Mataza the Zapper, we've been zapped. Witch Doctor of Chaos, be gone, Knave! Chaos Sorcerer, nice, and DD Borderline. You know, I'm realizing, guys, in all of our Invasion of Chaos packs, we're actually pooling um, quite a few Chaos cards, Chaos Sorcerers. Maybe that's a sign. That's a sign we're gonna get a Black Luster Soldier. Here we go. We have two chances to get Black Luster Soldier. Can we make it happen? Give it to us, Skyba! Another M7, nice. Oh! oh, baby! Black Luster Soldier! Here we go! Let's go! Invasion of Chaos, still another chance to get him! Come on! That's what I'm talking about! Man, I am, like you guys, the value of this video, I really think we're winning. I think we're actually getting close to winning with this valuable video. I think we're at that $50 value. Guys, every card, usually you do like 25, 50 cents and up. I think we mentioned 50 cents and up on the first challenge. Um, I think we're really close if we're not there already. So that's really cool. Another M7 too. Um, wow, you guys, we got the Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I think this is a godly opening. This is pretty freaking godly. And we pulled, remember the synchro, the, the Gundam we talked about earlier? This is great. We got the effect nailer. We got a Gozuki with our Mizuki. Bro, bro, bro.
Bro, come on. Bro, and it goes, you know, this is nice. This is real nice. All right, you guys, we pull the black. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the odds we get both the blacklisted soldiers like we were talking about? I just want you guys to believe right now. I feel like if we believe, we can really make this happen. I feel like we just need to believe. Okay, we're gonna set, we're gonna set this guy right here. You know what, Dark Arm Dragon, he actually comes from that era a little bit. Let's go ahead and move, uh, let's move Big One Warrior over here a little bit. We're actually out of sleeves, so we're gonna, we're gonna save that sleeve for our second Blackluster soldier. I just wanna let you guys know that's what's happening. So, um, what's the odds right now? Um, to get an ultra rare card of Invasion of Chaos, I believe it's a one in eight. Yeah, it's really, it's not so good. Um, it's one of eight or one in nine, and then there is six or eight ultras in the set, so let's just say it's a one in 100 chance. I did some crazy math there, but we're just gonna go with it. So about a one in 100 chance to pull a Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Come on, Kaiba! We actually didn't have a very good chance of pulling in that last pack either, so you know what? Let's do it. Just, just saying, Konami gods, Yu-Gi-Oh gods, I will take a Black Luster Soldier, or sorry, Envoy of the End, if that happens as well. <laughs> We got some chaos greed going on right now. Oh, we've been robbed by the zombie. <laughs> Man, epic, epic pack, you guys. Stealth Bird, Boganian, Gale Lizard. That was fun. That was that was pretty hype, you guys. That's what that was. That was a pretty hype opening. Um, again, our value, if you just take a look at all those cards, I think we're really close. This is this was pretty fun. If we're gonna open up, if you, if you guys are gonna open up mystery boxes um, for the the chance to complete the challenge for Walmart, you guys, I feel like the gold edition here is pretty great. I get we did get pretty lucky, and we have a one out of two chance to get the Duelist Saga boxes, and we got two Duelist Saga, Saga boxes, so maybe that helped us quite a bit here. But overall, um, pulling you know, some of these cards that we really wanted to get, we got a Hatsune Miku, we got a, a Synchro, Synch Bree Synchron or Gundam and Effect Filler. I think overall this opening was pretty freaking sweet, you guys. So please remember to give a thumbs up to the video if you guys enjoy the content. Also, again, please, you guys, post in the comments below if you guys think that we completed the challenge. And stay tuned, you guys, for more epic content on Simple Lucky. I know we're trying to do daily content right now, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching and Simply Unlucky signing out.